yes, that's good. That that was really good. The one, like, I, I don't know what you did, but it looked really good. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And today we're gonna make some wide angle portraits with Rebecca back there. I'm gonna be in uh, uh, back of the camera or behind the camera and Rebecca is gonna be in front of the camera. But let's get started. The, the other, the other, the other one, like that way. <laughs> <laughs> A wide angle is not the traditional portrait lens, but it's becoming like a standard because of cell phone, po uh, cell phone selfies. So uh, I thought it might be interesting to see what we can do with a wide angle lens and a real camera. I'm not very good at explaining what I'm doing while I'm taking pictures. So here's a little bit of voiceover and hindsight too. A wide angle exaggerates the foreground in the picture and you can very effectively distort your subject by moving your camera angle. And in this case I could make my model look a lot taller than she actually is by using a low camera angle. The lens for this first portrait is the brand new, relatively new Sony 11mm f1.8. And the camera body is the Sony ZV-E10, but of course you don't need this lens or this camera of this kind of portraits. You can use any wide angle and any camera you happen to have. I wanted to use the wide open f1.8 aperture for these close-ups to maximize the background blur. But unfortunately that was not possible because the Sony ZV-E10 only has one over 4000 shutter speed, nothing faster than that. So I had to go for f3.2. It was a pretty windy day and I think the wind made her hair and the dress also flow quite nicely in some of the pictures. What about the hands? Can you do the same thing as you did? Yeah. And keep your face towards the sun. In hindsight, I should have also tried a few poses with her hands behind her back. But it's so hard to concentrate on both video and photography at the same time. And whenever I try to do those two things at the same time, I find that my photography is not quite 100%. For the second picture, we moved out of the sun into this open shade area and uh, the light is also kind of nice here, a little bit like a uh, dabbled light coming through the uh, trees and foliage. And uh, first I thought I'm gonna use another lens for this picture, but I think I'm gonna stick with this lens because in this open shade I can shoot wide open and get that nice shallow depth of field possible even on wide angle at short distances. So um, let's see uh, what we can do. The light in this second location was really really nice. The backlight coming through the foliage created a beautiful rim light that was not too bright. And at the same time there was enough light in this open shade area to create a beautiful soft key light for the picture. Like I said before, a wide angle very effectively can distort your subject if you go close enough and select your camera angle carefully. It may not be suitable for traditional portraits, but you can certainly have some fun with that distortion effect. Here I was also able to shoot at wide open f1.8 aperture and I really like that slightly blurry background. That little bit of blur really helps to make it look like a surface rather than some messy vegetation. Do the same thing with your hands as you did before like that and I'm shooting from here. Yeah, that, that's, that is really nice. Based on this short experience, I think the new Sony 11mm f1.8 seems like a really solid wide angle 
and I like the outcome and I like what the lens can do. And it's so good to see new Sony APS-C prime lenses because it really sometimes feels that Sony is neglecting their APS-C lens lineup and APS-C users. For this second picture or third picture, I'm gonna use this uh, Sony 50mm f1.4 G series lens, which is also a brand new lens of recently launched. And uh, because it's a G series lens, it has aperture ring, which I like a lot. I hope that, or I wish that uh, 11 millimeter also had aperture ring. It would be so much nicer, for example, with the ZV E10 camera, because it only has one proper command dial for your thumb. So the aperture ring adds another command dial, which is really nice and makes uh, the handling so much nicer. But let's get started and take another picture. Let's get started. Oh, I forgot to turn on my GoPro again. Now it's running. The light in this third location is very similar to the light in the second location, but without the rim light coming through the foliage. And I think Rebecca's relatively pale skin tone works really superbly against the dark green background. And I also like the purple dress in this picture particularly. I'm applying negative 0.7 exposure compensation here, shooting aperture priority. Here I also shot everything at wide open f1.4 aperture, just to create a little bit of softness in the background, which again looks so much nicer than a sharp background. There is so much going on in the background also in this case, that if it was sharp or sharper, it might just become a distraction instead of just a nice background. Can you lift your hands a little bit again, like uh, here? So I think, yeah, a little bit higher up. Yeah, that, that's, that's good. That's really nice. I should have also tried a few full body shots in this location, but I simply forgot. How about if you put your hands like, yeah, like, yeah, that, 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 that is good. That's good. That's good. Really good. Keep that. The light here was really beautiful and I like some of the shots a lot. And it looks like the new Sony 15mm f1.4 G lens is a super nice option for all Sony APS-C shooters. That is much better than the, the other one. Yeah, very good. And uh, yeah, close your eyes one more time. Yeah, that's good. Keep it that, keep that, keep that. There were just way too many mosquitoes in that shade. So we decided to call it a wrap, pack our gear and get out of there. So there you have it, some wide angle portraits. I think it went pretty well. Um, thanks Rebecca so much for joining in and uh, we're always pleased to work with you. And uh, please do leave a comment down below and um, tell me or tell us how you like the photos and uh, Thanks one more time, and uh, I think Rebecca, we have to do another video sometime yeah, in the sure. future. <laughs> of course. Bye bye. Until the next video.